Cutscenes do become uh, a storytelling mechanism that you can show more and do more that you could never do in the mode that, that the game is in. You can't cut away to the bad guys. Um, and also, a lot of times, you don't want to give, you know, you want to tighten that up, and this is the part where you're telling the story, and you don't want to give the player control. The other thing I'd say is, and they're getting, even the last, over the last two years, um, the ability to do performance capture and have those cutscenes be 3D cinematic experiences uh, that just, you know, they just stem right from the game has really ramped up. You know, if you look at Red Dead Redemption or the stuff in, in Heavy Rain or things like that, and I think they've gotten to a level now where just on the surface, you don't want to skip them. You don't click the button set. They're really well done. They're really entertaining. The level of writing and stuff, and sometimes it is, it's very nice downtime. This can be kind of mentally, emotionally, phys sometimes physically taxing to be doing these fights or that things, and then you just want to say, look, we're going to show you a scene. You know, you're, you're usually pretty confident in a cutscene. No one's going to kill you. Um, so it's nice to give that player the moment of, okay, I'm just going to sit back, and if it's really well done, you look at like a, an old Blizzard game, like StarCraft, you're like, I hope this is the level with one of those amazing cutscenes afterwards, where it's so well done, it's not just a storytelling device, it's a reward. Uh, the old Wing Commanders, when they were first, you know, one of the first real cinematic games, um, those scenes were a reward. You, you, you wanted that after you finished the mission.